This is Andrew for The Chosen Prime with a quick preview of Generation Toy Gravity Builder 01A Scraper, otherwise known as uh, Constructicon Scrapper. Um, and I'll also have a few updates for their version of Mixmaster as well. So first off, let's do a quick uh, pan of how this guy's built. Um, you can see that his gun pays it, pegs in underneath, um, and there's actually pegs in the feet to help hold the gun in as well. Um, quick comparisons with uh, the other third-party Constructicons. We've got TFC's uh, Structor. We also have the Green Giant version of uh, Scrapper. Um, as you can see, they're uh, quite different. Uh, the Generation Toy One is definitely more accurate to a construction vehicle than, than the other two. So to transform him, we'll start by coming up here first. And what you do is you unpeg the arms, which they do peg in um, to the side of the cab, lift them up. And then these ladders fold up, unpeg, rotate around, and then peg on the other side. I'm gonna do that over here as well. Unpeg, rotate, peg, and straighten it out. So then what you can do is you can take these tires and they're on the floating hinge, you fold them up. And then what you can also do is you can move this, this can either go up or down depending on how you feel like you can kind of rotate it and kind of pin it like that and the hands pop out on springs and there's an arm done so the same thing over here take this bring it up rotate pop up the arm his head is uh, hidden here Go ahead and unpeg the, the gun. Come around, we unlock it. There's a lot of locking tabs on this figure. Then we hinge this up. And we'll go ahead and split the legs. And then this with part of the foot, it rotates here. It opens up and rotates around. And then the, the front shin here kind of pegs in to make the leg. And you can kind of see here, you just kind of Flatten out the foot. I'm going to do the same thing over on the other side. And peg it, rotate, peg it back in, straighten up the legs, and then you collapse for vehicle mode. And then the cab repugs back in, and then you can kind of just smush that back into the back of his head. And there's a lot of options as far as how far back you want away from his head when you're posing him, but otherwise. There he is in robot mode. Okay, so we'll start off with a quick overview, just uh, seeing that he's got nice clickety joints, um, ratcheting hips, uh, his feet have a whole lot of posability to them. So then comparing him to the other third-party Constructicons, here again is TFC's Structor, and then Make Toys uh, Green Giant. So this version of uh, Scrapper really is a masterpiece scale in a lot of ways. And so to compare him to a current masterpiece here is uh, Masterpiece Prowl. As you can see, overall the robots match quite well. But when you match him against other Masterpiece Decepticons, Masterpiece Thundercracker, Soundwave, Got a Polyon for your Megatron. And we'll bring in their uh, Mixmaster as well. So as you can kind of see, they uh, work quite well at this scale, the, the Generation Toys Gravity Builders. So we'll just focus on those two for now. Just like Mixer did, uh, Scrapper came with a weapon that he can hold and the pegs on his underside. Um, overall, for the first two figures from this company, the Generation Toy, they're really well built. Um, the quality of the plastic, the build, the engineering, the posability, even the paint so far seems really, really great. Um, one thing I did want to show you, some people have asked about the top of Mixmaster's cab. If you wanted to, you can't open up the back. And there is a pivot that you can bring this all the way back if you want to free up his head 
to have a bit better light piping. And this part here in the back does rotate all the way around depending on which uh, your preference is. Another pair of comparison we can do is against uh, other larger third party combiners. So if we reposition and bring in Mastermind Creations Bovis, and then here we have Unique Toys uh, Troll or Blot, you can kind of see that they uh, also fit whatever this larger scale of uh, combiner. Um, they all kind of fit into this lo nice scale. So if you're, if you're kind of a fan of the scale for a Feral Rex, I think we're going to be happy with the scale of the the overall combiner for uh, the generation toy. So we'll get these guys out of here. And do a little more posing with the scraper here. Um, his hands do rotate, and then the one set of fingers does pull in and out. Um, the heel spurs seem to do quite a good job of keeping him uh, stable. Um, he is a little bit back heavy, but then you can kind of reposition his uh, scoop in the back here to kind of help him uh, keep his posing. But once you once you kind of get him uh, locked in place, he's uh, pretty solid. So in order to, before we go ahead and get into combined mode, let's go ahead and get him back into vehicle mode. So here's scraper in vehicle mode again, and we'll do a quick detour to show him with mixer in vehicle mode. So you kind of see. Um, they both do have rubber wheels that do a pretty good job of keeping them still. They both do roll pretty well. And then here is Masterpiece Prowl in vehicle mode for comparisons as well. You can kind of see that does kind of work well. Scraper does work well with the Masterpiece line. So to transfer Scraper into his leg mode for combination, um, first you want to peg these pegs in the back to unlock it. And unlike you did before, we split here instead. Bring it back down and then relock these two pegs. Then we unhook the cab, bring it all the way up. Move these little flaps to left clearance, and then there's some really nice secure pegs to push this in. Remove the top to expose the combiner port, which is a bit too hard to move without any kind of leverage. Come back down here, lift up the shovel, and then you unpeg the arms, bringing them down. Then taking the ladder and rotating it around, but then flipping it upside down. Going to the other side. Unpicking the ladder, rotating it around, relocking it, and then rotating. And then what's kind of nice, there's pegs here in his chest for his arms, so that when you bend the arms in, they peg in. Same thing with this side. Move these little flaps to kind of cover up. Take the safety ladders and move them kind of in that position. Close up the feet. There's two little pegs on the torso, or two little flaps on the torso that let you, uh, once you move, open them. Let the torso twist and bend for leg mode. Then you can take the shovel, and there's actually two pegs to lock it itself into the chest here. And there is his combined mode. So as long as his little flaps are down, he does have a pretty deep pivot for posability options when in leg mode. And overall, he's very solid. I mean, he doesn't tip. There's these feet and just are really solid. And then the wheels are rubber, so they kind of stop it from moving. So similarly to his companion, again, he's very stiff. It's so secure. You don't feel like it's going to fall over. And again, the rubber kind of stops him from sliding around too much. To compare him with the other third-party combiners, here's Structor from TFC, and then Make Toys Green Giant. Again, you can kind of see huge size difference, and actually kind of a quality difference between the three, um, with uh, Gravity Builder's effort being just a lot more uh, stable and secure. So I'd say overall, I'm quite impressed with this effort from Generation Toy on the Gravity Builder series. These are pretty great Constructicons, and they look like they're going to fit quite well with most Masterpiece collections. Do remember that if you order the full set from uh, Chosen Prime, you'll be able to get the bonus item GT-01G Tyrant, or a little small Megatron. So take care.